Florida cases uh, rising by about 3% yesterday in the stock of the hours. AstraZeneca, Abigail Doolittle has more. So, Abigail, this is sort of positive results from this trial. Yeah, we have positive results from the trial. A bit of a roller coaster for the stock relative to the stock in London at one point up 10% now, up about 1%. The ADR here in the U.S. on the news initially up 6% now down. As for the news itself, positive results on this joint study by the University of Oxford and AstraZeneca. It's a dual response. So what's so important here, you both have antibodies coming out and you also have T-cells. So basically, you have a defensive uh, reaction and an offensive reaction from this vaccine. So initially, the stock popping higher, and actually it's up a little bit more uh, relative to where it had been, at least in London, up about 4% at this point. Uh, the reason it's off the highs, uh, it is an early stage study. So not surprisingly, more data needed, especially a larger study on human beings. And frankly, you know, if you look back in history, the fastest vaccine to be developed uh, in modern history or recent history, I should say, is Ebola. That took five years. Mumps back in the 1940s took four years. So if we have a vaccine in a year, it's going to be really pretty uh, incredible, a, a miracle indeed, in fact. But we do have a number of other uh, stocks that are popping higher or moving, I should say, relative to uh, uh, one of the companies uh, in uh, England as well. And I don't know if I'm going to say this correctly, uh, but Synergen, a tiny, tiny company, they uh, actually, they have shown a drug that lowers the need for a ventilator. These shares if you can believe it, up 3,100% this year <laughs> to a $365 million market cap. So still a small company, but soaring on this. IBO up 50% uh, today. This on the results around uh, AstraZeneca, the promise. Uh, Pfizer, of course, they have had positive results with some of their partners. And in fact, the UK has uh, promised or taken on 90 million of doses of Pfizer's vaccine, along with some of these uh, uh, AstraZeneca doses, only in per, from a preventative standpoint, uh, defense, uh, should they actually come to market. And of course, the hope is, but Moderna today, uh, the big winner this year, but down today is J.P. Morgan downgrades to a neutral. Plus, if their rivals are doing so well, it might not be so great uh, for Moderna. But you can see lots of stocks moving, all in hopes for the race for a vaccine.